All right, this is Jason with Brooks Fun Games and we're gonna try something new today. This just arrived from our manufacturer game land in China. And this contains the white sample of legacies, which we need in order to give game trays the final measurements on several of the items in order to finalize the tray design and get the last little pieces into game land's hands. I thought you might want to see what's inside of here, and I thought we could check it out together. So, here we go. Definitely use plenty of tape. Make sure nothing inadvertently opened on route. And I will say I'm impressed with the speed with which it got here. I think they sent it on their Wednesday, which is our Tuesday night. It showed up on today. Well, today is Friday. Friday morning it showed up. So pretty quick, if you ask me, to go halfway around the world. Break through the last bit of tape here. Start to cut myself. Plenty of good bubble wrap. In case anyone's wondering about the weight, this came in at just under five kilos, I think about 10.6 or 10.8 pounds. So Legacies, this is the deluxe version we're checking. This is the deluxe edition is the one that will have game trays in it. And that's what we're looking at for shipping rate is with the box, the outside box about 11 pounds or just under, which is right around five kilograms for our metric friends. Wow, it taped up really well. I'd be happy if the U.S. got on the metric bandwagon. Well, I think... <clears throat> I don't think that's a bandwagon. I think that's a... thing that most people have figured out and we're behind on adopting. One day we'll get there. All right, lots of bubble wrap. Lots and lots of bubble wrap in the tape. I think we'll both be surprised if all we find under here is more bubble wrap. Again, this is the first time I'm videotaping anything like this, so please do not judge me on my video editing skills. Alright, almost here. Remember, this is a white sample. What that means is they really didn't do any of the printing. This is more about checking out the sizes and confirming that all of that is right. I'm not gonna do all the measurements for you. I'm gonna do that after the fact. I just thought you might have a little fun with me seeing what we got here. All right. This is not light. Oh, this is excellent. Nice, sturdy. All right. So this is what the box top will be like. Look at that. Nice and thick. I think this is a two and a half millimeter, if I remember correctly. And also, nice fit. 
Okay, recall Legacies is going to have the great promoter on the front showing the buildings in the past and the buildings of the future with the label up top. <clears throat> That'll look fantastic. <clears throat> the deluxe edition also is going to have the gold foil. So where you see Legacies on the box is going to be printed in gold foil stamping. Uh, and then we're going to have, we haven't pinned down the location yet, but somewhere near the bottom for the deluxe editions, individual numbering. So, man, really nice box. <clears throat> now, I know I said this is a white sample. Um, they did go ahead and print uh, some of these components with the old, um, old stuff that we had used for testing. So, uh, for the player mats and other stuff, see some of the details don't worry um, don't worry about what uh, um, if you see any misprints on there that was just to test um, the tri-layer mat so here's our white sample rule book 28 pages is what we're looking at for the legacies rule book this feels nice <clears throat> else we got here so inside we have 10 tri-layer player mats <clears throat> listen to that wow look at that again pay no attention to the printing on here this was not the final printing version we're just testing out to make sure we know that these are all the right shapes, sizes, thicknesses, and that all the pieces are gonna fit nicely uh, within these slots. So that is what we're going for here and also confirming all of these details for game trays. Um, so that way, as they build out the trays to fit perfectly in here, all the measurements um, are gonna have that fit uh, that complete tray system fit in here nice and snug. Look at that. Ooh, so many options. Above board and underhanded. And both sides have the inset. Very cool. All right, let's see what else we've got in here. We've got the investment tokens. I think you've seen these before. This is a bag of the minor investment tokens. <clears throat> we have the foundation markers and the turn track markers, little piggy banks. We got the custom bidding dice in the deluxe edition. <clears throat> Here are the industry trackers, so you can track the price of shares for each of the industries. I love the way the screen printing looking on these. Nice 25 millimeter around <clears throat> tokens. Uh, here we've got the custom resources. We've got dye. Let's pull these out. All of them together so you can see them next to each other. We have custom dye here with the red, custom gears with the yellow, custom iron, black, nice. <clears throat> we have the relationship markers. We're going to be using these a bunch. Make relationships with other characters and legendary figures. Earn stuff throughout time. Got our major investment tokens. Big versions of miners. Looks like some of the punch boards came across or came on apart, so I'll need to pay attention to that. Uh, oh, they sent me the base game components, so that way I could double check those. Uh -oh. Some of the color markers and the bidding cubes instead of the bidding dies, dice. Ah, there we go. These are the gems. So these are uh, green and acrylic. It's the fourth of the resource. Also, we've got the uh, 
generation marker in here. Got a little glass bead. Very nice. All right. Oh, we got the deluxe, deluxe edition um, player color markers. You'll see here, some have the theme, some have the foundation markers on them. That way if you lap either of those tracks, then you can place those on the board, the track that you've lapped those. Sorry, light turned off, now it's back on. Uh, your fame marker, this will be the thing you care about the most, right? Person with the most fame wins. That's what it means when you're building your legacy over 300 years. No one wants their name to be forgotten. We want to live far in the future. And this will help you track that. <clears throat> All right. We've got blank cards. This again is to give me a feel for how much uh, space all this is gonna take up in the box. Um, I will tell you in the trays that we are going to make sure that there's room for sleeved cards. So if you're someone who sleeves your cards, there will be room to do that. Um, but if you don't sleeve your cards, these should still fit in there well. So, um, Presume this feels like the 150 player cards. I suspect, let's see, this is likely the 60. We have 60 of. Oh, come on, I have these memorized. Uh, oh, here, I'll come back to that one. Um, I suspect these are the 36 solo cards, uh, 45 event cards. Oh, successors, of course. You can't carry your name into the future without uh, finding someone to pass on your legacy to. So this is the 60 successor cards. Ah, the heirlooms. <clears throat> they may be the smallest cards in the game, but they're a big way to build up fame over the years. So 70 different uh, heirloom cards in there. And, oh, yes. I had them include the metal coins. Oh, the 500 bar. Look at this. Listen to this. Hear that? Ah, oh, so shiny. So beautiful. Ah, oh, you're gonna love these. <clears throat> I've gotta pay special attention with game trays. These are so heavy. I think the coins themselves across the, the game weigh two pounds. These are the 500 bars, the 100 bars. You got the 25 bars. Listen. Oh, listen to the sound of that. And we've got the coins. You got the tens. You got the fives. And then you've got the ones. Oh, all this great metal. If you love metal coins, there are 144 metal gold coins and bars in the deluxe edition of Legacies. All right. Well, like I said, it looks like some of the punch came apart. So this will be something for us to watch as we work with the factory on the final version. This is actually the one unique piece of punch board. Uh, it's unique because it's got to be able to fit in the trade conference on one side. It's got the player aids and the gameplay aids in the middle. Again, this printing is not the final printing. Um, they did this based on an older version of what we had sent them um, because we're really about trying to measure and make sure that everything is fitting exactly the way we'd expect. Look at that nice thick punch board. <clears throat> All right, we have <clears throat> the investment track, it's two pieces. So when you go through inflation throughout the game, moving into the second century, you'll overlay the board with these two pieces. When you go into the third century, you'll flip that over and have these pieces out there. Nice. All right, what else is in here? A little bit more. <clears throat> See, there's the expiration overlay, some of the scoring tiles, 
couple of the century end scoring tiles. Again, not quite the final, but pretty darn close to it in terms of what you're seeing here. This is the side of the player aids, the gameplay aids. Here's one of the global action tiles. Nice, thick, this will sit at the bottom of your board. You're gonna flip them over regularly throughout each generation. Here's a little bit earlier version of the trade conference tiles. Note, these are uh, really neat because when you do pick, it took us a long time to figure out a design that would work for these. When you figure out what other people are gonna, everyone's gonna bid with in the trade conference, you're gonna choose one of these top tiles and bid with either resources or foundation or gold or fame. You pick that and put that side up. And then depending on what century you're in, you'll place that on the bottom. And this actually fits nicely in the center of the board. So if you're bidding with, let's say that you're bidding with gold in the first century, you're gonna be paying out just one place um, and people are going to bid on each of the different columns, either fame or resources or foundation, to try to win that. Bidding either 5, 10, 25 gold, etc. So, really happy with how these are shaping up. <clears throat> All right. The inside, like I said, some of the punch boards started to come apart. So, this is something we'll need to um, look at as we uh, go back and look at the cut lines and make sure that these are going to hold during shipping. I'm gonna pull out some of the random ones here. More of the global actions. All right. Ooh, these fit nice and snug. Stand up <clears throat> so I can get these out. Uh, you will notice, even in the deluxe edition, you're still gonna get all of the cardboard gold. Uh, so these are the 25 bars, etc. Um, we did that for a couple of reasons. One, you know what, you can, uh, um, you've got them as a backup or for extras if you, for some reason you're running out of the metal, which you shouldn't unless you're maybe playing at a five or six player account and got some people hoarding gold. But uh, also you may want to use them in some of your other games. So um, I know I've uh, backed Kickstarters with uh, metal coins as well and um, opted to, um, hold on to the cardboard set when it came with them. So uh, those are in here. You'll see that uh, the bonus markers are on the punch as well. This is a slightly older version of, um, uh, this was a placeholder version of the legendary figure tiles. So they're in here too. And you've got the building overlays for the relationships. And this is one of the great ideas I think my artist had in terms of progressing things through the centuries by having a a different building represent each of the locations. So the underworld boss starts out in a cave on the board, Oops. then moves through to a nice restaurant serving as a undercover lair. And then finally we move off to the quintessential modern <clears throat> underworld boss type of uh, uh, lair. This one's built into a cliff side, uh, complete with a pool. I think. I'm not even sure there might be a shark with lasers swimming around back in there. But, all right, so let's pull out the rest of the punch boards. There we go. There are actually four of this size. They have all the coins, they have the global actions, the scoring tiles. I'm just gonna press those out. Definitely need to add a couple more holders on the punch so so you don't, don't get all loose like that. And probably one of the coolest things about Legacies, I know we are some of the first to do this. I've not seen many examples of a dual layer board. <clears throat> it also folds. So this out. Yeah, it 
looks pretty good. I'm gonna have to check this a little bit more closely, make sure there's nothing that we need to tweak. And over the next couple of days, I'm gonna be making sure again, everything fits. This is our second time getting versions of these. So it's really important that we make sure that each of the pieces fits where it needs to on the board. So where's one of the friend we can show you here, the general. As an example, we've got the cutout here. I feel that fits in there nicely. Just enough room to, <clears throat> we don't have to worry if there are any um, variances and tolerance in the production, um, but plenty of room so you can easily get your finger in there and flip the location over to the next century as you move on. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Well. There you've got it, the unboxing of my white sample. Again, any printing you see on here is not final. Um, final version right now is with my graphic designer. He is bundling everything up and we should be sending that to the factory here within about a week. Um, those final files, this is uh, so I can measure everything down to the millimeter and make sure that Game Trays has what they need to uh, finalize that design. We're 90% done there, just gotta make sure it's all uh, all exact because we want everything to sn fit snugly in the box. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed watching that uh, and unboxing this together with me. And we're close. We're really close. Can't wait to get legacies into your hands. We'll talk to you soon.